What's happening, Hardscapers? Today we're gonna to talk about ChatGPT and how it can help you in your landscaping business. Let's get into this. Okay, so ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence chatbot. Essentially, you give it a prompt and it'll give you a response back and you can continue communicating with it and it'll communicate back to you. This was launched fairly recently in the past four months or so and it is developed by OpenAI and a main investor of this is Microsoft. So there is speculation that this will be rolled out with Bing, that search engine that you don't use and it'll be a very valuable resource. It already is and you can actually use it for various tasks in your landscaping business. AI is a word that you're going to be here a lot throughout this year. This is going to be like crypto or NFT from the past two years. You're going to hear a lot about this as more and more companies become more and more involved in this, especially search engines. So look out for that. But it's just incredible the possibilities around AI in the future. So without further ado, let's get into what ChatGPT can help you right now in your landscaping business. Okay, so here we are inside of ChatGPT and all we need to do is just give it a prompt and in real time, it'll type out what you asked it to do. So you can also, once you get that initial response, you can ask it to develop more for you or to just continue to a different prompt for this. I've already used this for quite a bit of different things and I'll show you what you can use it for in your landscape business and how it can actually help you in your landscape business. The first thing we're gonna do is give it a prompt for an email. So we send out a wide variety of emails to clients, to subcontractors. So what we're gonna do is just we're gonna create a blanket email. Uh, an email that we can keep in a sort of software or in another folder that we can call upon at any point in time to just copy, paste it, add the name of the client or whatever that might look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask it to create an email proposal to a landscaping client mentioning that the proposal is attached in the email and we'll see what it'll give us out here so now it'll just let us know there we go a subject landscaping proposal for your property dear client's name i hope this email finds you well i am writing to thank you for considering me as your landscaping provider as we discussed during our meeting i've prepared a comprehensive proposal to enhance the beauty and functionality of your property you can see that it's given us an excellent looking email here. I can now just copy this, edit it to my liking and put it in a folder in my email provider or in my software, which we also have. And I'll show you in the how to hardscape headquarters where you can actually put that there. But this gives us a nice solid foundation to just edit this to our liking for our business here. We also might have another email for scheduling a consultation. So I'm going to say right, an email to schedule a consultation consultation with a client mentioning the link to our calendly for them to book their consult. And here we are. I just give it that prompt. I didn't even mention anything about us being a landscaping business now after that initial prompt that we talked about being a landscaping provider. So here we go. It's subject, schedule a consultation for your project. Dear client's name, I hope this email finds you well. Thank you for considering us for your project. We would love to schedule a consultation with you to discuss your vision and requirements in detail. So there we go. We've got more text showing up here. We've got the insert calendar link so we know where to insert that. And and we can just once again just copy this put it somewhere safe so that we can always go back to it copy it put the client's name in and send it off to them whenever we get these so we're not always having to type in these emails we have a format we have a form for us to just copy it paste it into the email so let me give you an example of where I took those email templates and I was able to use them in my business, but also use them in our How to Hardscape headquarters software. So if you were to sign up for the software and you were to log in, we have a setup tab here and we have an area for email templates. This is anything and everything that would go out of your business in an email that we can create a template for without having to constantly having to type out again and again. So I click on email templates there. I can see I've got a bunch of different titles. So you can see we've created an email template for declining in, uh, consultation. Declining project quote after consultation during project check-in and a project thank you follow up to proposal one year check-in completed project purchase orders uh, scheduling consultation sending a proposal and yearly follow up and go on and on with this but you can see we can go ahead and edit one of them let's go into the sending proposal one and there we are we have our template so you can see ChatGPT helped me create this and then I went in and edited it to my liking 
we have also these certain tags here. You can see company name. We also have the client or customer name there as well. What that does is when I send this out from this software to a specific client, this will automatically update based on the client that I'm sending it to in their name on file, as well as all of our company information will show up there automatically based on what we put into our company file. We also have an area here for contract. This is where we put terms and conditions. Uh, once again, I don't recommend using ChatGPT for something like this, maybe as a starting point, but always consult a lawyer for something like this. This will go out on all of our proposals at the very bottom. So if I go over to project and I choose one of our projects that we have gone ahead and quoted for this, I can go to my proposal section and I can create an, a proposal for our project. And you see at the bottom here, our contract shows up and I can actually edit it here. So this is what we We've actually used ChatGPT for in order to be able to streamline processes in your business and through our software as well. I'm going to create a new chat now and I'm going to give it a different prompt, something else that we can use this for. And one thing that comes to mind, especially with the spring rush coming, I'm going to give it the prompt of job descriptions. So I'm looking for job descriptions for a variety of different roles and responsibilities within my business. So I'm going to ask it to write a job description for a landscaping foreman. And here we go. We've got the job title, Landscaping Foreman, and we get a job overview. Yeah, speaking of highly skilled and experienced landscaping foreman, to lead and supervise our team of landscapers. And there we go. Point by point, we get the responsibilities. And these are looking excellent right now. Supervise and direct a team of landscapers, ensuring that they have necessary tools and equipment and resources. This is excellent. And we, got, we even get requirements that it's filling out here. And we get a final closing paragraph here for this. So now I can just copy this. I can edit it to my liking, especially those requirements. And I can then just include this in my job post for this specific role. And if I even want more from ChatGPT, can you provide me with more roles and responsibilities? You can prompt it to add additional roles and responsibilities if you want more from this specific prompt. So perhaps I didn't get enough from my landscaping form and prompt there, and I wanna ask it to include more roles and responsibilities, which I can then use to highlight what that employee is going to be doing in my business, to give them a clear roles and responsibilities to what they will be doing within my business. So they are very clear on what that looks like. I can continue this with a wide variety of different job titles that I have within my business as well, and just continue through this. How else can I use this? Let's start a new one here, and let's create an employee evaluation form since we're already on the topic of employees. So let's write in, can you create an employee evaluation form for a landscaping company? And we'll see what we get here. So here we are, we've got our employee evaluation form coming in. We can write in and give us blanks there to be able to write in our employee name, the evaluator name, the date, job title. And then we get a bunch of different instructions here. And this is excellent. We get a rating scale that we can evaluate our employees on. And here we go, we got criteria. We got quality of work, completes tasks accurately and efficiently, demonstrates attention to detail, meets or exceeds job requirements, consistently produces high quality work. And I can use that scaling system that they gave us right there to then just evaluate this employee. This is looking excellent and we can copy this and edit it however we see fit. So you can see the wide variety of use cases that we can use ChatGPT for in our landscaping business, especially with just writing things out. This is gonna cut down an exceedingly amount of time. It's gonna save us money if we were to just purchase these some elsewhere and implement them into our business. So this is looking excellent just as it is here. We can continue with a, say, a client questionnaire form. Ask it for a client questionnaire form to be able to send to the client afterwards when a project is completed to see how they enjoyed that as well. We can use it for that. What about an employee handbook? Since we're on employees already, can you write an employee handbook for my landscaping company? And here it goes. It even mentions here's a sample employee handbook that you can use as a starting point. And this is what I recommend with this tool. Just use this as a starting point. It saves you an enormous amount of time with having to type this up by yourself or employing somebody to type this up or purchasing these re resources elsewhere. But at least you get a starting point with ChatGPT, which you can edit, you can add on to, you can delete, whatever that might look like. It's a free resource to use. So use this to your advantage in anything that you can put it to work for.
So it gives us an introduction. Welcome to our landscaping company. We are committed to providing our customers with Now, getting into an employee handbook is very much based on your specific business as well as where you're operating business from. So this should be taken with a grain of salt and probably consult with a lawyer about anything that ChatGPT provides, especially with something like this. And to continue on that point, if you were to say ask ChatGPT for a contract, for you and between you and a client. That is something that I would not recommend, but let's see what how ChatGPT handles something like a legal binding contract and how it goes about creating something like this. So I'll ask it, can you write a landscaping contract between a business and a client? And there we go. It's going to give us a starting point. Here's a sample contract that you can use as a starting point. Landscaping contract, this landscaping contract, and there it is. It even goes into the legal jargon there, defining what contract means in this. Now, I've already actually gone ahead and tried to use ChatGPT to see if they could create a contract. Usually, it does give you some sort of area up here where it says, you shouldn't use this contract. This should be just used as an example. You should reach out to a lawyer to actually go through a contract like this uh, before you actually go ahead with it. So it's interesting that it didn't do it this time around, but definitely advice that you should be looking to a lawyer for. Lots of different use cases for ChatGPT. I'll leave a link to ChatGPT in the description of this video so you can go ahead and go around and play with it. Any other use cases that you can think of, leave it in the comments. I'd love to know your thoughts on this. And if you're already using ChatGPT in your business, if this has helped you in any way, please give this video a like that really helps us with this channel and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hardscaping content, sometimes like this. Thank you so much for watching.